Hello, this is New Dog Girl and Tammy from Tam Tam C. If you're wondering why we keep looking like at two different cameras, it's because we have two different cameras going. We're going to post on or this same video. Mm -hmm. We're going to post on Tiff's channel and we're going to post on my channel from a different angle but the same topic because we thought... Yes, we share some of you guys as our followers, yeah. but we also have separate followers and yeah. thought it'd be neat to share it either way. So if you follow both of us, come like both of us. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to watch all the way through. Just let it look like you watched it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it playing. Yeah. So, yeah. So this video um, is a topic that came up on my channel, mm -hmm. but I know that it's... A fairly worldwide topic in the and world. And we've of... talked about it ourselves between each other as well. So. Yeah. So we thought we'd do share this. it with you guys. Yeah. yeah. So we're talking about. Oh, I have to show that I'm actually wearing a shirt because in this one part I'm like. Ooh. <laughs> and we have our friendly dolly friends yeah. with us. This is Michaela, which last video she wasn't put together. So here's her first. Real video of being put together, her body and her head, and I love her. She's awesome. And these clothes, oh my goodness. I got them from Wish for like 20 bucks, and they fit her so well. They're I, so cute. And they're so soft. And yeah. yeah. So anyway, she loves pink. Can you tell? She's my pink girl. <laughs> and we have Ziggy. Ziggy, my Akagi doll lane. And she's a uh, Impel doll. Impel doll, Michaela, with the Michaela face up and everything, and then the Impel doll body. I uh, ordered separately, but. And where did you order it from? Alice Collection, and it came. And I have more coming. Woohoo! Soon. This Chinese holiday put a 30 day delay on it. But I left patience. my. <laughs> I still have to show them my, my Christmas presents. And I left oh. them upstairs with um, Asha. That's okay, because I haven't done my Christmas present video. Well, we're both happy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you got Michaela. Um, the Thanksgiving event was the head. Yeah. And then, yeah, the body I ordered. Yeah. Separate. Afterwards. But they go so well together, they and do. I'm just in love. I love her. But I'll do a review on her on my channel in the next little bit. No promises <laughs> when. I'm hoping. Tomorrow. No. no, not tomorrow. No, 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 no. I'm going to Legoland for my son's birthday. No. Um, but I'm hoping to start doing regular every other weekend um, videos. And uh, so, yeah, keep an eye open for those. Um, that won't start till March 10th is when my first weekend is available that I'm hoping is available. <laughs> yes. Woohoo for exes. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Uh so yeah, so this video um like off topic. Well really we're just jammering away. Three minutes in. Let's get on topic. <laughs> what was the topic? No. <laughs> so the topic is um how to deal with bullying in regards to collecting dolls. Um I know that I've dealt with bullying for being uh, a doll collector, um, and Tammy, you have a like a little bit of a different experience than I have. Mm -hmm. um, I've been collecting dolls since I can remember, um, and you just started getting back into doll collecting. Like you've always wanted to collect. Yeah, I've always collected more baby dolls yeah. than I did um, BJDs and stuff like that. So you've just brought in my collection of dolls, but they did get put in a closet for many years of my marriage and stuff. And yeah, so they're all getting brought out and added to, and it's exciting. But there's family members that just, you know, don't want to. And and I actually have, I actually have a couple girls on here. Um, I believe you're. I believe that it's mostly girls. 
if I do have boys that um, collect Reborns as well that haven't commented or that I haven't realized are men, please let me know because I'm not trying to be sexist. No, exactly. Um, but uh, I have a couple Reborn collectors on my channel. Oh, that's awesome. Come on over. I've got a few videos and there will be more because I got a couple. Well, one. And uh, she's going to go get a repaint. Yeah. Sometime in the near future. And I'll explain all that at some point. Yeah. Um, and then my monkey, my chip. I was, he hasn't had a video yet, and I've had him for almost a year. No. Poor Chippy. But uh, I was cuddling with him last night and changed him, and my kids were like, oh, you got your monkey again, mommy. <laughs> and I, have, I haven't done one either for a jelly, jelly bean. bean. That's okay. They'll so get their turn. We need to do that. Oh, there we go. We'll bring Chippy next time. Yeah, we we'll, bring Jelly Bean out to my house. Yeah, and we'll do a reborn video. Yeah. Um, maybe on your channel. That'd be cool. And then you guys can go over and watch it on her channel, and mm -hmm. we can do one on mine another time. But and I then, really want to help Tammy get people on her channel. But anyways, no, we <laughs> we're still on topic again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're avoiding the we're avoiding the conversation. Uh, no, we're not. But I know, uh, especially, like, a lot of times people, like, I've always collected dolls, but, like, when I started doing the Reborns, my kids and my, not so much my son, because he does, he's just, like, whatever. whatever. He's easy going. He's easy going. But my daughter and my husband were kind of, like, they're freaky. Baby dolls, freaky, like, what? What's going on? Like, they had... And that was all my fault. Uh, yeah, yeah. I introduced her to the Reborn. Yep. Yeah. Community, I uh, found one and videos and but yeah, hey, if you need to watch. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, okay, I've never really cared too much about baby dolls. Like, I've always loved the fashion dolls or whatever. So I was like, okay. And then I'm like, I want one. I need some. I need a lot of them. And we uh, have kits just behind the cameras yeah. that, that I need to do. Winter came and we haven't had time. Yes. So, time of a... So they had a big, like, confusion about me having baby dolls. And, and my husband's like, just as long as you don't get, like, a, a stroller and start, like, taking them around and everything. And I'm like, uh... And what? he's like, okay, as long as I'm not around, you can do it. <laughs> so, so there's a lot of stigmatism for that. Um, but it's the same with BJDs. And, yeah, and well, we really... We took our BJDs one day out at the Oshawa Mall, and we had our daughter with us, and she was like, I don't know them. I really don't know them. But we had it. everyone that, we had a few looks. Yeah, we did. Definitely. That were like, those guys are crazy, and, but we had a few come up and ask us about them. Yeah. So that was really a neat experience for me, it, as yeah. being new to the BJD, and mine was just my cheapie at the time. Yeah. And, I forget who you carried. I, I carried um Bowie. Yeah, that's right. And, that's right. And, and you guys know Bowie. Um, I'll get him anyways because he hasn't been out for a bit. Oh, he's around? Oh, yeah. He's right. There he is. Behind. With and my girl's Harley. upstairs, but... So, okay. So, I was bringing Bowie with me to the mall. And he was dressed like this. And, uh... Poor Bowie, you've been dressed like that for a year. <laughs> I know. I'm I have sorry. to admit, mine don't get changed as often as I'd hope to, too. Well, I feel bad because once I got EG, I was like... Exactly. Focused on EG. I understand. So, anyways, so I was taking... Asha. Um, yeah, Asha. <laughs> uh, I was taking Bowie with me, and he was dressed like this. And a girl comes up to me, and she goes... She's so pretty. That's right, I remember that. <laughs> Not that a girl wouldn't dress like this, but it was just funny. Um, I guess because he had the long hair and, and everything. And I said, oh, thank you. Well, it's actually a boy. And and she goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like the, the very like, um, what's the word? She was like, oh, like. That's a pretty doll. Like, kind of like... She was interested to know more, too, once we yeah, told them. Yeah. Told her stuff. But, but at some first, of them it, we were, got some looks. Some of them were, like, kind of like the... Um, oh, you poor crazy person <laughs> kind, of, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, just... 
and I, I've had family members, my, my sister especially, like, always was one to make fun of me loving dolls, and, and she'd actually bring it up around her friends, like, you know, laughing about the fact that I was going to a doll convention, and, you know, like, kind of trying to make me sound crazy, like, oh, do you talk to your doll, Tiffany? And they talk back. And yes, they talk yes, back. they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> um, and, uh, so... You know, like, ha, ha, ha. And so I said to them, yeah, they do. And um, I, you know, and I, yeah, I'm going to a doll convention. I'm going to Cal to um, Chicago and like. Oh, that was fun. I got to go. <laughs> and, and, and. That was my first experience. Yes. With uh, dolls. Dolls. In, like, because like I said, I've always had my baby dolls. Growing up, my baby yeah. dolls were my babies. And I had friends that didn't understand why I would sit at home and play all the time with my baby dolls and not want to... Even at 13, I didn't want to go yeah. to the mall. I wanted to stay home and play with my dolls, and they were real. Yeah. Um. So I had friends back then that were like, just leave them at home and come out with us. And I'd be like, no. See, we should have known so, each other growing up. We should have. Because I was playing with Barbie dolls. Oh, I didn't like Barbies. Oh. <laughs> I still would have I would have played baby doll. It's it's interesting that I have gotten into the BJDs because I hated Barbie growing up. And yeah. yeah but BJDs are a lot easier to dress. And I think that was the issue that Barbie didn't bend <laughs> to get clothes on. So I wonder if Ken feels the same way. Maybe. <laughs> maybe Barbie didn't bend. <laughs> Sorry, T T M I. So uh, but yeah, but no. But yeah. We should have been friends. Yeah, we should have been. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> we oh, got well. we got introduced years later. Yeah. It's more fun now. <laughs> yes. But I remember being like thirteen and, and inviting people over to play Barbie and they were like, Yeah, that's not really, cool. That's not cool. Like that's really weird, Tiffany. Why do you wanna play Barbie? Yeah. Like you're thirteen, like let's talk about boys and girls. Oh. Yeah, I understand. You know? Yeah. Uh, and I'm thinking, no, I'd rather be home playing with my dolls, because, you know, they're not... Boys had cooties, and my dolls didn't. Well, boys were my friends. <laughs> they were, like... All and, that, too. And plus, like, I was completely, like, shy and inept. But anyways, that's not the point. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, like, and I've ha and my mom would always say to me, like, one more, like, when do you want something other than a doll? For Christmas. And... My grandmother got that way with my mom. Was like, Tammy needs to have something different. Yeah, she and needs to grow up. And isn't she into this? And Yeah. Yeah. And I even had my mom say, I'm going to give you this money, but you're not allowed to spend it on dolls. And I'm like, well, then I don't want the money for Christmas because I'm going to spend it on dolls. Like, yeah. That's, that's what I love. Yeah, exactly. So what did your mom think and how did she react when you got into, like... Okay, with so smart dolls. Okay, well, let, okay, let's well, start. Start with the. Okay, start with when you started getting into the baby dolls again. Did she make any comment when you did that? Um, like the reborn. When I brought them back, like my, because I did. I went to my basement and I found all my dolls from my childhood, my my child and my child. whatever I had kept. Now yeah. a lot of them were given away as I grew up too. So I did have my my child still and she was like why are you bringing that up and out you don't have time you have children you don't need a doll and I was like well my doll can sit on my bed and be my you know yeah. decoration more than but I'll admit I cuddled with her and stuff when people weren't around um so yeah I got the comments of why yeah. And I just said, well, why have them in a box? Because exactly. <laughs> I was at the point where it's like, no, my house needs to be, I'm the only girl in yeah. the house at that, you know, and I have hockey, I have sports, I had everything that the boys liked and that Jeff liked. And I was like, no, it's about time I decorate with some of my stuff. Exactly. So that's was the reaction was why <laughs> when you have children, you don't need dolls. Yeah. And then how did she react when you and got And then when I got into the, my first BJD was my tiny that I don't have anymore. And um, my aunt actually, I took her to my aunt's house after Christmas to show her off. And they were kind of 
she was freaked out with the fact that you can take their heads off and change their <laughs> eyes and yeah she was just like this is weird and pretty much asked me if I was going through a midlife crisis <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> because uh... these were weird dolls like I don't yeah that was my first reaction with Tess from my aunts what, are you going through a midlife crisis maybe that's what she asked. That's what she asked. But maybe, maybe not. At least it was good. <laughs> and then, and then, what, how did your mom react when, uh, when you got your smart dolls? Oh, my mom thinks my smart dolls are ugly. She keeps saying that they're ugly and they're creepy and what? But the eyes again, it's something to do with eyes that my family doesn't like because my mom's like, they've got creepy eyes. I love my two smart dolls and I will be getting more someday. Someday. And uh, yeah, they're like creepy. And then she asks my boys and they're 14 and 12 and my 14 year old goes, I'll admit, Grandma, they are creepy, <laughs> but it's okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. But he's like, because I've started now since Jeff left, is to uh, bring them out to the living room. I'm decorating my living room. It's not just going to be the boys' stuff anymore. Good. And Travis is like, the other day when he heard that I was putting some of my dolls on display in the living room, he's like, your bedroom's fine, living room not so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, there's news to him. When my living room's yeah. cleaned up, there's going to be dolls on shelves and coffee tables and end tables. And yes, they'll be in my room too. Yeah. But they, news they, to him, he doesn't get control. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Teach that now. Well, yeah, like when Tasha had a sleepover, she had a sleepover with a bunch of her friends and... Um, she, she's like, mom, can you move your dolls? I said, no. She's like, but it's so embarrassing. And I said, this is who I am. And if they have a problem with it, then it's their problem. It's not my problem. And I think that's what he's thinking is if he has friends come over, they don't want to see mommy's, why is your mommy, you know, yeah, like, why yeah, is, it's what? that whole. And so I kind of felt bad because I was like, you know, I don't want to make her embarrassed and I don't want her to feel I mean I already embarrass her in it, <laughs> as it is that's what mothers are for that's what mothers are for um but it was funny because when her friend came over because she um it, it wasn't a bunch of friends it was just one friend it was the first time that friend had come um and and when her friend came over, she's like, oh my gosh, what are these? And she was like super into the dolls. Oh no. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I want some of these. And so like, I was kind of like laughing in the background when Tasha was like, because <laughs> my daughter's not into dolls. Like she can appreciate them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she, and she's super into anime, as I've said like a million times before. So, like, she would love a smart doll, but so that it can be, like, an anime character. Yeah. Um, but... But you won't see her carry it around out to malls or... No. You know, it's going to be a display. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if she does take it... right? If she does take it to Anime North or something... Yeah. Then it will only be, like, when it's Part of her costume. Costume, <laughs> like, not, like, I have a doll. Yeah, no, it'll be part of her costume. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Or, like, the doll will be in a huge costume so that you can show it off kind of a thing. Exactly. But it will be more of an anime figure than a yeah, doll. Yeah, figure than a doll, yeah. Um, yeah. But, but, yeah, like, you definitely have been made fun of. Oh, yeah. And, and the insecurities, like I know with me with saying, yes, they're coming out into my living room and they're going to be on display. When I have people over, I wonder what they think. Yeah. And like that insecurity in itself is, oh my, you know, like, cause people, I feel people don't always care about the real you. Yeah. And what you put on when you're out of the house is something different than when you're in the house exactly. and what you're in your house. So like, yes, I have friends that haven't, that do have come to visit, but my dolls have always been Hidden. elsewhere, yeah. you know? So, um, 
my insecurity is when now that I am going to display them is going to be what are they thinking inside their heads that they're not saying or yeah. what if one of them are verbally and not like verbal yeah. to say what like my mom is like you know it's different coming from your mom yeah than it is coming from a friend that had no idea that yeah. you were a doll collector or you know say something negative yeah um from your mom you just let it go but as a friend it what else is very... she not t i mean like there's a there's a list of yeah things, exactly it's just dolls um, is on there yeah exactly but no i've i've thought of that that or even like Travis's friends' parents, if they come over for yes. any reason, what are they going to think? Because yeah. am I weird? No. Sure, I'm weird. But yeah, but, but no, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, because I don't know, for me, I've always felt like I'm never going to fit in with other adults because I do collect dolls. I do, I mean, it's not a common thing, especially where we live. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of the time, like... We can't just go to a hobby store and yeah. find doll stuff like no. you can in Toronto or in the States. Yeah. Like, all these people list about going to such and such hobby store and they found miniature stuff yeah. and we're going, we don't have that. No. We or know. finding, like, BJDs at, like, a second hand, hand store. store. I'm we like... talked about that the other day while <laughs> we were shopping. I'm like... Yep, no. <laughs> that would be like a dream come true. Yeah. I one time I found a Tonner doll at Value Village here in Peterborough. Oh wow. Uh, oh, I just gave it where I live. Oh well. That's okay. Uh, and 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 I know where it's from because there's only one other person in town that I know of that collects Tonner dolls. Right. right. So it has to be from them. But, it wasn't from me. No. Because <laughs> I used to have Tonner dolls, but they were sold on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, not just giving away. I knew their money, their worth. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so like, and like for me, whenever the dating scene comes back, how am I going to feel about inviting, you know, they got to know the really whole me point. again because I hid that yeah. from, you know, as, cause at that point I had packed my dolls away. Like, he knew they were in boxes when we got together, but they never were on display. And now yeah. it's going to be a whole new ball game. You have to like me for who I am. And if yeah. you don't, too bad. Yeah. But the insecurity for me is going to be yeah. there. What are they thinking? Are they yeah. telling me the truth? You know, yeah. are they going to support my hobby? Yeah. Because the hobby's not going anywhere. No. I'm not hiding it this time. The hobby is... Staying forever. Sorry, boys. <laughs> <laughs> if there are any single men out there, uh, no, I'm not ready <laughs> for eventually, 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 seven and a half years, <laughs> something like that. Um, That's an inside story. Yeah. Uh, inside joke. Inside joke. Yeah. Um, mm. But that is a very valid point. Like, how do you deal with? someone who you're romantically interested in or like just starting out dating how do you broach that mm -hmm. that because like when when i dated jeff he had hobbies he had yeah. rc i joined in you yeah. know but my hobbies were hidden like, yeah you know i got into scrapbooking once i we had our first child but even that he never showed and that was much appropriately interest. adult yeah. Right? Like, crafts, art, art, arts and crafts is adulted. <laughs> but, you know, scrapbooking made it adulted. Yeah. But, like, but, you know, yeah. like a police officer or, like, a teacher or whatever, like, you can find people out there that scrapbook. Like, that's yeah, exactly. an acceptable adult hobby to have. Yeah, where this, yeah, isn't necessarily, this makes you weird. Like, I've actually had people, like, Crazy, I'll say... I guess. Like, um, I'll say, like, I collect dolls, and they're like, oh, like, porcelain dolls? And I'm like, no. Yeah, because porcelain dolls are adult, uh, collectible. Well, but, sort of. Sort of, yeah. Like, but there's a line. Off the... There's a line, I think. Like, you can have, like, maybe a As couple. long as they're in a display case. Yeah. They're okay. And they're not too many. And the, Yeah. And then they're, they're decoration. Exactly. But if you, if it, if they're like, 
kind of like for the, fun kind of like the willow trees they're a collection yeah. they go in their place and they don't get moved that's yeah. okay yeah yeah um at least that's what i that no exactly I mean, there could be people out here that that have had people still be mean about it but yeah for like for me i i think that like it's seen as as decoration but but no once you get into like the the interacting with them or mm -hmm. or anything and even then like or they're sitting on your chair instead of in a in a cabinet yeah, yeah. and even then like people are still just weirded out by dolls mm -hmm. and i don't know why kind of like clowns oh don't even say clown <laughs> I don't like clowns. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know you know. Uh, clowns don't bother me. But it's the same. Like, people that have a collection of clowns, again, they're to be made to be sat on a shelf. They're made to be burned. No, I... <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I love her. I really do. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, the, oh, now I have to rethink because um, that just blew my head. Uh, <laughs> clowns um uh, i'm not saying if you collect clowns you're bad or that there's something weird with you maybe it's just me that i'm weird um but yeah no so i think the the big thing about this is you have to be who you are yeah and i'm learning that yeah don't hide don't yeah. hide yourself be who you are and if they don't like you for who you are who cares? They're not worth it. Yeah. I have learned that a lot in this last year. Yeah. That I have to find myself again because I did what everybody else wanted me to do. And I lost who I was. And now, yeah, it's be who you are. Yeah. Yes, it hurts when someone criticizes and says mean things about your dolls. But be who you are. Stand up for it. Yeah. Exactly. Because life is too short and, you know, no matter what you do, someone is going to judge you. Somebody is going to make you feel like you're not good enough or that you're bad. Like, it doesn't matter what the circumstance is. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, like my, my kids have said things to me like, you know, well, if I turn out like this, are you going to love me? Yeah, of course. Like, there's nothing that you could be or do as long as you're not hurting somebody. Or there's yourself. No, or yourself, obviously. Like, then, yeah. then just you have to be true to yourself. Because, sure. like, so many people, they spend their lives hiding who they are. What's that? Mine stop videoing. What? I just looked at the time on my camera. But I know we got some. So I, I must have filled my... Uh, Your card. My card, maybe. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll see where it ended and I'll edit okay. it later. <laughs> to watch the rest go over the same. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, oh. But, but yeah, no, you, you have to... Because people are going to dislike you for so many reasons. I mean, no matter how good of a person My you are. My haircut. I've yeah. had people say it doesn't look good on me. But who cares? It's me. I think it looks awesome. And a it. lot of my viewers have said the same thing. That you look awesome. Kick ass. Um, but yeah. I don't want to be rude to you or to them. But I just got a message from my dad. And I need to call him back and find out what's going on. He went to his doctor today and he left a message saying there he's headed to feet of early merge. <gasps> so I need to step okay. out of the room and feel free to continue if you'd like. Okay. And I'll pop back in when I hopefully get a reply from yeah. him. Yeah. Here, you need help? I got it. Oh, sorry people. You going to see close ups of everything? <laughs> ah, it's all good. So I will update you guys about Tammy's dad. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video. And um, especially if you're still hanging in at 29 minutes. Uh, this was a really awesome talk. And hopefully you guys got something out of it. Um, as I said before, and I'll say it again and again. Like, you are a magnificent person. And...
It doesn't matter if it's family or friends or random strangers, you know, you have one life to live. You have to be true to that person that you are and be proud of who you are and love who you are because, you know, you might not be a spiritual person or a religious person, um, but you have a purpose here and you have a reason to be here and you were made uniquely to be you. So whatever that entails, you've got to rock it and you've got to love it. Um, and I know it's not easy because I still on a daily basis struggle with being who I am and, and being, and being okay with who I am. But, um, yeah. So hopefully this video helped you guys. Um, loving dolls is awesome and you know just be very remember you're not alone okay thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much um, and I look forward to seeing you again soon okay talk to you later bye